Welcome back to Silent Hill Homecoming. In the last episode, we arrived at the church. Seems to be sort of like a, a puzzle hub, like a really big area where we need to go off and do a bunch of different things and then bring the items back to the center to complete the puzzle, I think. So let's explore more of the church. Okay, came from down here, by the way. When up here, save the game. That's where the last episode ended. So I haven't explored any of this stuff in the room. It's an excerpt from a psalm. Blessed is the man who does not tread the path of the wicked, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers. Hmm. Think before you knock. Confession booth. Appears to be someone inside. Maybe they know what's going on around here. <laughs> sure. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been four years since my last confession. <sighs> I don't blame you for ignoring me, Father. I'm not even sure you can help me. I'm lost. I'm so deep beyond the reach of my faith and I'm sinking further away. What could you have done that was so terrible? I took my role as a father and I turned it into a daily chore. Fed him, clean him, put him to bed. I treated the dog with more respect. And when I was given a second son, the first might as well have been a stranger sleeping in our house. I feel that you could start loving your son at any time. I do love my son, father. I love both my sons. But I had to make a choice. And the only way to live with that was to make sure my son never loved me. I had to make sure that he would never feel joy or compassion. All the things that make life worth living. You must understand, I was only trying to make things easier for him. And for me. And for this selfishness, I ask forgiveness. If you truly want forgiveness, then you already have it. Thank you, Father. And now I have something for you, Father. I don't need anything from you. What? Hey, thanks. I guess I completed the puzzle. <clears throat> I wonder if there were wrong answers there. Because it seemed like at every turn there was the answer that's the, the like priestly thing to say. And then the other one was the not priestly thing. Like, why should God care? So I wonder what would have happened if I went with the other options. Kneeling man plate. That doesn't look like kneeling to me. That looks like they're doing the... The down dog or up dog yoga position. I don't remember which one looks like that. It looks awfully weird. <clears throat> Brass plate etched with an image of a man begging for forgiveness. Looks out of place. Unlit candle. Very fancy candle. This candle seemed out of place where I found it. I wonder where it belongs. That looks real weird. Right, so I came in here, I got this thing, went up the stairs, just did all that stuff. Oh, okay. How am I doing on ammo? Should I use my guns? I could use my pistol, I suppose. But I don't need to. Okay, fighting two sucks. Never mind, I'll use my pistol to take out one. I did 
terrible in that fight. Now, I know I've already been over here, but I was missing stuff to continue over here. Question not your faith, but your devotion. Maybe the candle goes here. Aha. Uh -huh. Candle plate. Hmm. It might have been just the three plates that I needed. Oh, wait. Hold on. That opened this. This was locked before and closed. I was thinking maybe I should go back to the organ, but nope. L? Gates are locked, but I don't see any means of opening them. There's some in here with me. Together, the three paintings form a scene of a man pursuing a mysterious woman. Oops. Oh, shit. I thought that was the same description. Uh, whoopsie. An ancient dying tree it reminds me of the one in the hotel atrium. It's of a man being restrained by roots from the tree. His eyes are fixed on the woman in the first painting. Eh, yeah, cut them all, sure. Tree plate. The painting shows an alluring woman draped in luxurious silks. She looks vaguely familiar. Gate kind of got in the way. More rifle ammunition. <laughs> Please give me a rifle. Scene of a knight being stabbed in the back by an executioner. What did he do to deserve this? The center window has something just below it. Sword plate. Shit. Shotgun time. They put me back here because I have all the plates I need, I suppose. Yeah, five of them. Okay. So, <clears throat> for vengeance, what goes with that? Sword? 
Yeah, Sword for Vengeance, Desire. Mm, maybe Chalice. Probably Chalice. Sorrow. Kneeling Man Plate, probably. Sacrifice. Hmm, Sacrifice. What's the other one? Penitence. Well, now those I'm not sure about. Penitence. Put the tree there. Sacrifice with a candle? I don't think that's right. Oops. Let's get the ones that are, like, super obvious. Like, Vengeance. Vengeance has to be the sword, right? Penitence, sacrifice. <clears throat> Sorrow. It said it's... They're uh, asking for forgiveness. That's more penitence than sorrow, right? So maybe the kneeling man goes there? I don't know. The kneeling person could go into there or into sorrow, I think. So, like, what do you desire? You desire the chalice? Candle is something you light because you're sorrowful? I don't know about the tree being sacrificed, but... Oh, there we go. I'm not exactly sure which ones I ended up going with. I just kept trying a couple ideas. Hey! It's my dad! like you wanted. Alex, you've been in the hospital. I know. I was wounded in battle. No. A mental hospital. You've been there ever since the accident. No. That's not true. I'm a soldier. Protect people. We had to take you there. After that night. After I gave your brother this. <laughs> what is this thing? What did you do? Where's Joshua? the Shepherd family ring. Well, thanks, Pyramid Head. They just came and cleaved my dad in twain and then left. Dad seemed like a piece of shit anyway, so... Cool. 
God, that is gross, though. So, not surprisingly, it looks like they're trying to go for some big twist. I'm not actually a soldier. I've been in a mental hospital since the accident. Uh, okay, sure. Dad's remains. If you can't tell, I'm not very invested in the story. This game is not very good. <laughs> Mining equipment doesn't look like it's been used in a while. The suit could protect me. Damn. First time I've ever changed clothes in this game. I look like one of the Order soldiers almost. Probably call me Margaret. You're so grown up now. I found Al, but I don't know what happened. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. You try so hard to raise a child, to instill your values into her. You want her to be her own person, but you hope. She'll always remember what's important. Family. What's going on? Family is the most important thing, Alex. I would do anything to protect them. That's why I sacrificed my daughter. What? Founders. They had good intentions. They left the Order to start a new life in Shepherd's Glen, where they feared the wrath of our God. So they made a pact to keep us safe. All that was required was a small sacrifice. Our children. Once every 50 years, the founding families must make an offering to appease the god. One of our children, her own flesh and blood, struck down by her own hands. I did what was required. 
I watched the light fade from Norma's eyes as I took her life, knowing death would protect our family, God. protect Shepard Josh. Glenn. No, Alex. One of us failed. Lacked the strength to fulfill his duty. Your father. Where's Joshua? <laughs> Don't you see? Because of him, our sacrifices were in vain. The pact with our God was broken. Your father's lack of conviction cursed us all. Was to revive the order which our founders abandoned. The true faith. By kidnapping? By murdering? Murdering? I've given them life for rebirth. Then what about El? You gonna kill her too? I've tried to make El understand. She's like you, Alex. She still thinks there are such things as good and evil. But there aren't. There is only chaos and order. Show my daughter the price of her disobedience. with all this. There must be another way. No, Alex. It's time I finished what your father could. Yes, more QTs. Better get to the other room pretty fast. Bitch. It's finished. Got the lair map. This is the lair. <laughs> oh right, they took my stuff, didn't they? Yes, yeah, so I've just got the ceremonial dagger. Still all my healing items and serums and stuff. But none of my guns. Where the hell could LB? Who knows? There's a million places down here to go. Doors are locked. Need a key. Okay. I have my flashlight. Ok, 
Okay, so I can use this. I can go this way. But... I want to know what's over here first. Well, they're dead. Oh, that's my pipe back, isn't it? Not that I'm going to use it. <laughs> oh, God. Is my pistol. Oh, it's my old pistol. Oh well. Ammo, one magazine. Sector 3 key. Shotgun ammunition. Paper lists more people they've brought here to torture. By decree of the ordained council, the following have been chosen to serve the will of our divine lord, James L. Tony. Ba ba ba. Anybody I recognize? Nope. Does not do not make any mistakes. Remember the penalty for not following the word. All repent, for our kingdom is near. Wait, it was signed A. S. Is that Adam Shepard? Yeah. Um. Also worth mentioning. Remember before I was noticing that the dad seemed to be against the order, but also simultaneously seemed to be rather culty? It seems that both of those are true. They are against the order. They're a split faction from the order that went to Shepherd's Glen to start their own life slash religion. And they still do nasty shit. Just a different type of nasty shit. Instead of trying to summon a demon, they try to keep it down by killing people. Through the Fog, A Skeptic in Silent Hill by Paul Scheibel. Silent Hill, a town known for its mysterious happenings and now defunct cult, The Order, which was recently exposed by Detective Douglas Cartland. That's a familiar name, Douglas Cartland. Douglas Cartland, who was that? I'm trying to remember. From which Silent Hill, from which Silent Hill whence they came. But what darkness really lies behind the simple veneer of the sleepy town? Paul Scheibel's latest book chronicles his research during a two-year stay in the town, including detailed interviews with longtime residents, cult documents you won't find anywhere else, and an appendix of popular local legends. As expected, life in Silent Hill is far more mundane than you may have heard, and the great evil the Order sought to find originated from the same abyss, whence all religions spring. Nowhere darker than the fanatical minds of its followers. Wait, so what's the purpose of this room? Oh, collectibles. Giant gaping maw amongst a bunch of gears? Oh, and like, looks like an adult's throwing a kid into it along with a bunch of other kids. That'd be the sacrificing of the kids? Did I mishear or did they say they have to sacrifice someone once every 50 years? That seems too long for all the people that have been killed. Nora? Wait, was it Nora? Uh, yeah. Nora and Joshua, although that one was failed. Is 
Sector 3. Okay, if this is going to go to Sector 3, then what would the Sector 1 door that I can open be? Where would that go? I want to go there first, because that doesn't require a key. Need to f oh, what does it say? Oh, I need L to help me, don't I? Okay. I guess Curtis got just as lost as I've been trying to get to L. Otherwise, L would be really chewed up by the time I get there. I'm sorry, were they having a conversation with this person? Like, I heard an audio coming from over this way. <laughs> so is this one's unlocked? Oh, I need a weapon to pry it open. I think I hear L screaming. Looks like we got a time thing. I can't open that door. I see another door. Down this way. Shit. Uh. Maybe I can bust through the wall. Right, so I'll try this door here. Because I can get behind room 220. Actually, there's no way I could bust through the wall. 
I don't have a right weapon for that, but we'll see. Maybe there's a hole that I can crawl into or something. Oh, I can push this. Buddy. You're going down. Alex. Gotcha. What? Tag you're it. Alex. My mother. I'm sorry, Al. Oh God. I can't believe this. We gotta get you out of here. Come on. Okay, hold on though. Is there loot in here? Yeah, of course there is. I have five med kits. Looks like a doctrine describing their faith. It reads, every child born of the flesh bears the filth of the flesh that created it. The lives of the unpure are steeped in filth and their deeds and words spread filth through the world. Even death is not enough to cleanse generations of this filth from the flesh. The only way to ensure these poor souls can live pure lives is to cleanse the flesh from their bodies. Oh, hey. Room 301 key. That would have been easy to miss. <laughs> 301. Up here. This is real exciting. Any day now. Let's go. Love the dramatic tension of two people having to slowly lift up a door. You want a piece of me? Shit. They have a gun. Hold on. To report today I successfully converted seven subjects to serve the will of our divine Lord. If God is willing, please take this as a sign of my commitment and spare my wife for she for she does not know better. Yours, Steve. Good luck, Steve. Propaganda and why people should join the religion. The time has come, these dark days are merely a test to find the worthy. None of you will survive the coming fires, you know this in your hearts. All of the horrors you may have witnessed are nothing compared to the hell that awaits you. We know your fears. We know you are not mad. Flee to us for shelter from the coming storm. Flee to us to absolve your sins. Flee to us because you have nowhere else to run. Please join us at our weekly service, Friday, 6 p.m. at the Church of the Holy Way. Coffee and donuts served. What in the hell is this? All of my weapons back. Oh. Oh, sweet. Chalking back, better pistol back. Nice. 
Is it a third serum? Hell yeah. Can't wait till I accidentally use all three of them. Excuse me. Excuse me. He's dead. It's hard to tell what happened to him, but I don't want to stick around to find out. I have so many healing items. There's more people I brought here to torture. Nothing interesting there that I see. Yeah, so this whole place is a bonus thing. You don't actually have to come here. I'm glad I did, because there's a lot of good stuff. Now, if only I could get a rifle. It's a shame all the Order's rifles that they drop when I kill them just dissolve on the ground. So I think we need to go here. Now that I have L's help. Yeah, that's not going to open. Are you coming, L? They'll find their way. <laughs> 